morning. In just a few hours, we've got the Labor Department's February jobs report. Economists projecting 200,000 jobs were created in the month, lowering the unemployment rate to get this 4%, which will be the lowest we've seen since December of 2000, when Amazon was just a bookseller. Uh, but will a trade war bring a halt to all of this? Let's bring in Melissa Armo of Stockswoosh.com and Armando Soto of Zelfinium. Guys, good morning. Good morning. morning. Melissa, hey, what do you t make about what we're going to see in the jobs report? The biggest two things that we've been watching vol that the, in volatility has been wages and also the labor participation rate, which is still where we're, where we're sitting back in the 1970s. We need these numbers to get a little bit better. Well, I think whatever the numbers come out to be today, it looks like it's going to be a good 2018. Like Trump said yesterday, he passed those tariffs because he wants to bring more jobs back to the U.S. Buy American, buy American. He said that however many times yesterday. So I hope that the number is good today. I think if the number is good today, the market is really going to take off, really going to rally. We're almost at the highs in the queues. The spy is up this morning a little bit. We were we barely moved anywhere yesterday. We look like we're going to explode if the number's up today. Plus the North. Korea, the North Korean news about Trump meeting with the dictator of North Korea. So I'd love to see a great number. Yeah, we would too, Armando. But also, you know, if you look back at what we were expecting in this jobs report, I mean, again, you know, that, that labor participation work we put up, that 62.7 percent, that's an economic story. Because if you don't have labor participation, and of course, it's the, the number of people that are either working or looking for work, that tells me that we don't have enough employed Americans, despite what we could see at 4% unemployment this morning. Well, where we're going to see the uh, labor participation rates go up is uh, with these tariffs that the uh, president has enacted, and they're going into effect in two weeks. Uh, I was just in the Midwest uh, just yesterday at a manufacturing company, and I asked them directly, these are job creators, and I said, uh, do you see this as a good thing or a bad thing? And they specifically told me that it's a great thing. It's going to cause a lot of innovation. It's going to uh, help turn mills back on here in the United States. And we'll, we'll see that labor participation rate go up. Mm, I think that's the, the, the okay. number that everybody's mm. focused on rather than the, uh, the unemployment number. While the unemployment number is important, what the president wants to see, I believe, is the uh, rate particip the labor participation rate go up. Sure. I think we all do. I think we're all in agreement with the president on that. Melissa, I want to switch gears to the markets really quick here. You know, we've got a, the futures are flat right now ahead of the jobs report. But today is the 90th anniversary of the bull market. And I think what is fascinating about this is despite the financial crisis, uh, despite some political turmoil uh, in the last uh, several years, Obamacare, um, we still have a Dow that's up, uh, you know, basically about two. 80 percent, Nasdaq up 485, S&P up 305 percent. Do you can see this this trend continuing? Can you know? Usually, I think when we get to a nine-year point in a bull market, you get a little nervous. I absolutely see the trend continuing. One of the indicators of that is you have stocks that are major players in the market, like Amazon, for example, yesterday hit over and made a brand new all-time high. Netflix is strong. Facebook is strong. Apple has turned around. Even Google looks a lot better, and that hasn't looked that great since the earnings back in January. Even that is turning around in the last few weeks. So I'd say, yes, the market is higher. I think the trend continues higher for 2018. The charts say it. I look at the technicals. The charts say it, and the fundamentals say it. So why would once you think it, the only thing that could have been a little monkey in the wrench would have been a war with North Korea. Now look what's happening. Trump may meet with him. So I see all smooth sailing for the market ahead. Don't panic if okay. we have another drop off. The market looks like it's going to hit over the high. Sometime. I won't panic. I won't panic. Armando, what do you say? Uh, I believe we're going to see some volatility over the short term in the industrial sector, in the industrial sector. But we will see uh, technology continuing to go up and that's really what's driving the market so in the near term we might see a little bit of that volatility come into play uh, I believe that the correction that we recently had is, is actually healthy for the market and uh, after a small period of volatility we will see that market continuing to go up based on the uh, the current administration and the and the pro-business uh, policy Armando Melissa thanks for being here we've got that report in less than three hours guys thank you thank thanks. you all right <laughs>